you very much and good morning to everybody. So as it's being introduced, I will uh, now give you an overview, first of all, generally in the EU level enforcement activities, and after that, I will give you some short insight uh, description of nine uh, member state uh, activities on the level of enforcement. Until now, the forum had three REF projects, so REACH enforcement projects, and two smaller scale pilot projects where not all the member states were involved, but only those which were concerned. REF3, uh, the operational phase of which ha just has been completed, and now we are the reporting phase on REF3, uh, was focusing on, again, registration obligations by importers, manufacturers, and only repre representatives, inspected this time in close cooperation with the customs officers, and compliance of ORs with all their duties means Article 8 duties under REACH. Uh, the success of these projects has highlighted us that it's necessary to continue, so actually the referee exercise will be continued this year as well, with a more, more focus on the supply chain activities. Then we also had uh, two pilot projects, one on intermediates, which was basically an echo-triggered activity because uh, the inspectors uh, went after those companies who received the so-called Article 36 letter by ACA requesting some further information, but some companies were not answering to ACA, so those companies got visits from uh, their national uh, enforcement authorities, and the focus was on strictly controlled conditions and downstream user attestations in case of transported isolated intermediates. Then we also had another pilot project on PAH restrictions. The PAH content in tires and extender oils were examined. The first two REF projects showed that there was a relatively good compliance level with the registration obligations. However, they also showed that there were some problems with the preparedness of the only representatives, particularly REF1 and REF3 highlighted that. Uh, we also identified that there is an issue with the supply chain obligations, specifically with the completeness, with the uh, compliance of the safety data sheets uh, obligations. So we decided to continue with that kind of exercise in the continuation of REF3, so REF3 will also focus on the safety data sheets. The French authorities really go on detail to check uh, articles and restrictions by chemical analysis. In 2012, they started with this kind of activity. They had a result of 20% of non-compliance uh, articles and uh, uh, obligations. So they continued with this kind of exercise with 2,000 samples in 2013, and the analyses are still ongoing, so they will have a nice trend how this shows in the future. They particularly controlled in the past years control of toys and clothes, shoes and bags where they were inspecting the content of various restricted substances. Moving ahead to another country, the Netherlands, where we also find some specific activities I will tell you about. So they have de developed uh, an IT interface, a prototype, that was specialized in paint industry and tested this prototype with actually very, very good results. The, uh, the main issue is that the paint distributors delivered every day their information on the distribution of paint to this particular site, and the IT system has actually took care for the distribution of the safety data sheet links to the buyers out of the site, um, and the distribution has, has not been done by the paint distributor itself, and by that, they also assess that there is um, a saving of approximately 0.5 uh, million euros. So this is quite a considerable amount. So based upon the results and the success, uh, successfulness of this project, they, they decided to do a follow-up of the project in 2013 by deepening the project in paint industry, but also with spreading it to the whole chemical sector. So more information on this project, uh, you can also ask your Dutch colleagues or you can just check out the website of the Dutch authorities where there is an information available on this one or you can also go to the website, I think. Well, thank you very much.